Is Minecraft 1.21 the best update Minecraft has received? I want to find out. So to do that, I want to rate all of the features inside of this update. And at the end, I will be taking on trial chambers in survival mode. And we're gonna be starting off with all of the brand new blocks. And there's a lot. Starting with all of the brand new tough block set. We've got chisel tough, polish tough, tough bricks and chisel tough bricks personally i'm a massive fan of these new blocks especially like the polished ones and also the, these just plain chiseled ones i think these are going to work really well in my style of build we've also got stair slabs and wall variants for each of them including regular tough so you can make cave building much better next we have a crafter which is a block that auto crafts stuff for you and it's used for one of the brand new advancements called crafters crafting crafters we need to be near a crafter when it crafts a crafter but how do I craft a crafter? For that, I'm going to need a crafting table to get the crafting recipe of a crafter. And for the crafter, we need five bits of iron, two redstone, a dropper, and a crafting table. And here is the recipe inside of a crafter. Now, if we activate it with redstone, we should get the advancement, crafters, crafting, crafters, for crafting a crafter with a crafter. I've said crafter way too many times now. On to the next block. We've got all of the brand new copper blocks. We've got chiseled copper over here, which actually has eight variations, as we've got the regular ones. So we've got the regular copper, exposed, weathered, and oxidized. And then we've got the waxed variant of each. We've also got the same for the grates, which are really cool, like see-through blocks. These will work really well for like windows. Then we've got copper trap doors, obviously with eight variations as well. Copper doors, which are the same. Also, you don't need redstone to activate these ones like you do with iron. And we've got copper bulbs, which are a brand new light source, which is used for another advancement. Lighten up, where you have to scrape a copper bulb with an axe to make it brighter. As these blocks have a really cool mechanic, the more they oxidize, the darker the light source becomes. So we've got an axe here, Wax it, and we get the lighten up advancement. But these technically come with a ton more variations because we got the regular one here without any light, one with a redstone signal and lit up, one without a redstone signal and lit up, and one with a redstone signal and not lit up. And you can get those with every oxidization level as well as every wax level. So that's a ton of brand new copper blocks. Next, we got the trial spawner and the vault. Both of which can be found in the trial chambers which we'll explore later on. The trial spawner is used to spawn waves and mobs which you have to fight inside of the chambers. Whereas the vault is, is a reward block which you can use the trial key on to unlock and you get another brand new advancement under lock and key and you get a ton of different items. For example here I've got some iron, a brand new smithing template which we'll take a look at later and some poison tipped arrows. But if you're very lucky out of the vault block you may be able to find a heavy core. Now this block is really cool as it's used to craft Minecraft's most overpowered weapon, the mace, which we'll take a look at a little bit later on. Now the heavy core is a very cool item as it can be pushed by pistons but is also immune to being blown up by TNT which probably makes it very useful in redstone contraptions but i'm not too smart to but i'm not smart enough to be able to do that but those are all of the blocks inside of Minecraft 1.21. And overall, I think I'd give it a nice 8 out of 10. I'm a massive fan of all of these blocks. However, to improve it, I would add a type of wood, as I think Minecraft needs some more trees in the game. Next, we're going to take a look at the brand new items you can find from the trial chambers. We've got armor trims, banner patterns, and sherds. Starting with the sherds, which can craft decorated pots. We've got the flow, we've got the guster, and we've got the scraped sherds. All found in the trial chambers on the decorated pots. And I may just really like decorated pots, but I think these are really cool. Next, we've got two brand new banner patterns, Flow and Guster, starting to see a bit of a theme. One with like a wind design for the flow, and Guster's the shape of a breeze, which we'll also take a look at in a bit. And finally, we've got two brand new armor trims. We've got Bolt, made out of copper, and we've got Flow, made out of a breeze rod. Both the banner patterns and the armor trims are found from vaults. And honestly, I'm a massive fan of these brand new armor trims, especially the Flow one. I think I'd definitely use that on my world. So for those items, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Honestly, all I'd improve is by adding maybe one or two more shirts. Also, having the ability to dye decorated pots different colours. I think that would be really cool as well. But I'm happy with the armor trips and the banner patterns. Next, we're going to be taking a look at a feature which may not be in 1.21 and instead in 1.20.5. Maybe. I'm not sure how the development's going for those, though. But before we do, make sure to subscribe, as I'll be breaking five blocks of dirt for every brand new subscriber I get from this video. So if you want to see me struggle with mining a lot of dirt, subscribe. Anyway, we're going to be taking a look at all of the brand new wolf variants and the armadillo. Starting with the wolves, we've got eight brand new variants which spawn across your Minecraft world. Starting here, we've got the woods wolf spawning in the forest. Rusty wolf spawning in the jungle biome. Spotted wolf spawning in the savanna biomes. Striped wolf spawning in the wooded badlands. Chestnut wolf spawning in the old growth spruce tiger, I'm pretty sure. And the black wolf spawning in the old growth pine tiger. 
maybe the other way around, I don't actually know. Pale Wolf, which is just the old default wolf, spawning in the tiger biomes. Ashen Wolf, spawning in the snowy forest biomes. And the Snowy Wolf, the rarest of which, spawning in the grove biome, in packs of one. Whereas the others will spawn in packs of two to four or four to eight. Okay, yeah, so the Chestnut Wolf here spawns in the Old Growth Spruce, whereas the Black one spawns in the Old Growth Pine. And for the Wolf variant, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Next, we've got the Armadillo. Now, the Armadillo is found in the Savannah Biomes and the Badlands Biomes, and is used to get Scoot, which can craft Wolf Armor. All you need to do to be able to obtain the Scoot is find an Armadillo and click on it with a brush. And yes, you can get an infinite amount as long as you have an infinite amount of brushes. Which I still don't understand, I think this is really weird how you can just spam click it and get infinite amounts of scoot. When you only need 6 for one pair of wolf armor. And if you want to see how good wolf armor truly is, check out one of my latest videos where I tested it out. Also, these armadillos are very scared of players, if you sprint around it, it curls up into a ball. And it actually looks really cool. And the babies also do it, and look even cooler. And here's what the wolf armor looks like on one of the types of wolves. The best part about this is it completely protects them from all attacks. And you can also dye it any color you want. So I'm going to give the armadillo and the wolf armor a nice 8 out of 10. This update's looking really good so far, but will this continue with our next mob, the Bogged? Now the Bogged is a very cool mob. It spawns in three different places, the swamps, the mangrove swamps, and the trial chambers. One really cool addition to it is the fact that you can use shears on it to get different types of mushrooms. For example, I got two red ones there, two more red mushrooms, and from this guy, a red and a brown mushroom. They're also very dangerous, as they don't shoot regular arrows. Instead, they shoot poison-tipped arrows so they are much more dangerous to fight. However, they have slightly less health than a regular skeleton, and I died. There's not really much else to add with the bog, it is just a regular poison skeleton, but I think it's really cool, so I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Maybe 1.21 is the best update. On to the next mob, the Breeze. Now, the Breeze is probably the coolest mob added into 1.21. It uses wind-based attacks to attack the player and can launch itself around, and launch you, so you can take a lot of full damage. But when you take it out, if you can, it will drop one to two breeze rods, which are used to craft the mace, as well as wind charges, which are little balls basically, which can launch you into the air. And it also provides you an advancement who needs rockets for launching yourself more than eight blocks into the air. Also, you can cancel fall damage with it, which makes them so useful. To find a breeze, you need to find a trial spawner, which spawns one inside of the trial chambers. So we'll try and look for one in a bit. But overall, I'd give the breeze, the breeze rods and the wind charges a nice eight out of 10 again as I really just love launching around with these wind charges. Finally, onto one of the best parts about this Minecraft update, we've got the mace, Minecraft's newest, strongest weapon. And the mace is used for an advancement over overkill, which requires you to deal 50 hearts of damage in a single hit using the mace. But how do you do that? Well, basically, you just need to launch yourself up in the air. As the higher you fall from, the more damage you will deal. For example, this skeleton here, let's try and jump. Oh, I missed. Like this. We see we one-shot that spider bear, jump up, hit the zombie, and it dies. You may notice we also take no fall damage, as that's one of the coolest parts about the mace. If you land a successful hit, you will take no fall damage. Let's see if we can one-shot this pig quickly. Launch up with a wind charge if we can, and kill it. Let's do the same with a skeleton. Oh, we hit the zombie, and it also causes a knockback effect. Jump up again. See, we one-shot the skeleton, and we're not even that high up in the air. Let's do it with a sheep. There we go. And as the higher you fall from builds up the amount of damage, if we jump from height limit, we are able to one-shot the warden. And we also get the over overkill advancement. And also the cave and cliffs advancement, which is pretty cool. That bell is very annoying. But not only the warden is one-shotable, you can also one-shot the wither and the ender dragon. I honestly really hope they don't nerf this item. I'm in love with it. So once again, I'm going to give a 10 out of 10 for the mace. Now onto the trial chambers, but for that, I'm going to need some better gear. There we go, that's much better. Wow, what a cool transition, but we actually need to find a trial chamber now. And to do that, you can talk to a cartographer. As one of their brand new trades, they can offer a trial chambers map. And when looking up close, it tells you exactly where a trial chamber is. And for us, we have a brand new one right here, which also unlocks a brand new advancement. Oh, you can't see me. Minecraft Trials Edition, where you need to step foot in a trial chamber. And now here we are inside of the brand new trial chambers. Let's make a make it a little bit brighter. And already a trial spawner has gone off. We've got the mace with us though, so hopefully it won't be too much of a problem. Hopefully. Break some decorated pots as you get some good loot. What's it? Okay, so we got a husk one. Oh, they've got a key. So we've got husks, and it looks like we've got spiders as well. 
Oh, I can't hit. There we go. Let's see if we can use the mace, actually. Or we'll just get stuck in the cobweb. Luckily, the wind charges, you can slightly launch back mobs. Yeah, these things are quite difficult, and I've got protection-free armor on. I can't get up this ladder. Okay, just hide up here for a second as our health regenerates. Oh no, another spider. Oh, we can also smash a pot with an arrow to see what we get. Some copper, not very useful. Kill the spider. Another spider. Yeah, I really like just smashing these pots. Oh, another spawner. This one's for a husk. As we get different blocks around the spawner to represent what mobs can spawn. So the sandstone will be the husk. Oh, we're in a great... Oh, we're in a deep dark. Great. Stupid husks everywhere. Oh, I should... You know what? I'll try this. No. Nope. Jump up. Oh, I should have... I missed my opportunity. I've definitely missed my opportunity. High up here. Not... Oh. Put it in the offhand for wind charge. Can we jump up high enough? Not very. Oh, no. Oh, no. And now... We should launch them all away as well. But now I'm going to want to run away quickly. Ooh, a barrel. Okay, not important, not important, not important. Definitely not important. Just need to take out all the husks. In fact, Skull Catalyst is going insane right now. Ooh, pops to break. Oh no, there's a lot of them. The hunger's the worst part, honestly. So this is actually quite difficult in hard mode with... Some pretty normal armor. Protection free diamond. I'd definitely recommend bringing some sort of smite weapon with you. I think that would help out a ton. Oh, more are spawning. And as you may have just heard there, once you defeat the round of mobs, you'll get an item popped out of a trial spawner. So there we got a key. We haven't defeated all the spiders yet. Have we now? No, more... Where's that spider going? Oh, we can hit it around the corner. There must be some more spiders around. There we go, some shirts from that pot. Honeycomb from there. You can also break the spawners, but I wouldn't recommend doing it as, as they do regenerate over time. So we got some glow berries as loot there, which isn't very good. But overall, I would rate the trial chambers a 9 out of 10. The only things that could be improved is the loot, as it seems a bit too early game, as well as the difficulty of the mobs. For example, over time the mobs could get stronger and gain armor and weapons. Anyway, if you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe and remember, I'll break 5 blocks of dirt if you do.